Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, whatever place you are tuned on to. The Life Signatures Radio is episode number 1345. And in these episodes, we are talking about this series, actually. We're talking about legacy. We're talking about living your moments and making every second count, but then leaving legacy to take care of itself. Sometimes we do the reverse. We, we are immersed in trying to find out what my legacy is going to be, what people going to say about me when I'm gone. And we fail to recognize that the moment we're worrying about the legacy is the moment we're supposed to be using to create the legacy. Legacy is not something you directly create. It's something that comes off of a byproduct of you immersing yourself in doing something that matters in this life. Pursuing something that is greater, greater than life, greater to you than life itself. That's where the legacy is going to be created. At times we're going to create a positive legacy or we might create a negative legacy, depending. Or maybe, again, no legacy at all. Should we be pursuing legacy at the end of the day? Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. That's the question. Should we be pursuing legacy at the end of the day? Do you think that legacy is something, I'm I'm asking in your opinion, do you think that legacy is something that you and I should be so immersed in, so focused on, trying to find out how we will be remembered, how people will remember us when we are gone? Should we be pursuing legacy in the first place? Well, I do think, and that's why I'm sharing these episodes, the crux of these episodes is that Stop thinking about legacy. I don't think it's something that it's so uh, something that we should waste our time thinking about. And I know I should say that in a balanced way because sometimes people might have been given ambition or given motivation when they think or th- when they want to be remembered in a certain way. Such a person was this guy who started the Nobel Peace Prize, and to him it came in a surreal way. What happened is that he found his uh, obituary in the newspapers. His brother had died, and so the person who wrote the obituary thought it was him who died. And they wrote very negative things about him. So when he was reading, it dawned on him that that's exactly how he is going to be remembered. That's what he's going to be remembered for. He's going to be remembered for the guy who was a mass murderer. The guy who invented uh, a dynamite that killed very many people and, and, and so on. It dawned on him that's going to be his legacy. And from that moment on, he drew a line in the sand and said, this is not how I'm going to be remembered for. I'm going to be remembered for good. And therefore, Alfred Nobel created the Nobel Peace Prize. Every year we celebrate someone who has contributed towards peace. There are Nobel Peace Prizes in agriculture, I think, in engineering, in science, in books. In But there is one overall for peace. And very many people have had an opportunity to receive that award. And the, 
money that accompanies the award. That's how we remember Alfred Nobel at the end of the day. He chose specifically to be remembered that way. So that's the balance I was talking about. You can decide that I am not going to be remembered in a bad light. And therefore you go on a way, you go out on of your way, go on a tangent to set the ball rolling on how exactly you're going to be remembered. But at the end of the day, it comes back to what we need to be doing today. Because you might say, I don't want to be remembered as a bad person. If you're not going to do anything about it, you're going to be remembered or not going to be remembered at the end of the day. So what I am talking about is that instead of immersing yourself and thinking of how you're going to be remembered all the time, how about you decide what you want to be remembered for and then instead of thinking about how it's going to be like, set the ball rolling and start working towards it. Making every second count is the crux of this series. Making every second count. Yesterday actually we talked about urgency. Agency is doing everything in your life in such a way that everything in it does count. When you do that, at the end of the day, the legacy is going to take care of itself. You can either do that or do what I want to talk about today, which is sleepwalking. Have you ever experienced someone sleepwalking? I'm told that it's a very interesting thing that if someone is sleepwalking, you're not supposed to wake him up. Someone can actually be dead asleep, but they are, they have risen up, <laughs> they have gone, and they have done some things, but they didn't know that they were sleepwalking. There are extreme cases where I was told that someone would be witch people, <laughs> a very strong witch with a very big tract of land would be witch people. And people will wake up from their sleeps and their, it's their sleep. And they will go and they dig that land for the witch. And then they go back to their beds, not knowing. Nah, I don't know about that. When they come back, they they wake up and they find this mud in their feet. And they are tired. <laughs> they don't know what they were doing. But you know, at the end of the day, that's what sometimes we find ourselves doing when we don't have direction in life. I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. What do we do? We sleepwalk through life. Ah, I tell you. That's why Miles Monroe comes and tells us that the richest place in this world is the graveyard. Why? Because in the graveyard lie people who have gone there with potential unused, untapped, and deployed. People who could have written books, who could have written songs, people who could have led, maybe created revolutions and innovated and invented things. People who would have changed the world, maybe maybe brought peace or whatever it is that they would have done, they didn't. Why? Because they were sleepwalking in this life. The flip side of urgency, which we talked about yesterday, is sleepwalking through life. You are on social media because you are bored. You are on TV because you want to catch up on the international gossip of the day. You are going out with friends because they asked you to do it. In other words, there is there are a gazillion activities that you are engaged in. And none of those activities is pointing towards intentionality. It's pointing towards productivity. Is pointing towards something that is creative enough that is going to change and transform and actually leave a legacy once you're done with it. Somehow, once in a while, you gain some kind of consolation when you are engaged in productive activity of a personal value. That's the reason as to why we were created to be productive. When you are productive, you feel the joy of God. You feel the glory of God. Sometimes even much more than someone who is in church worshipping God. And I know I keep saying that and I know it's a bit controversial, but it's, it's the truth. Sometimes we think that glory, giving God glory is done when the worship music is playing and hands are lifted and tears are rolling out, out of our eyes. I don't think so. I think sometimes when God has given you the gift to be an orator, and you are in the middle of delivering an oratory performance or a speech, 
that is inspiring, equipping, motivating, teaching, changing people's mindsets for the better, making people to rise up and deploy, deploy their potential, you are giving God glory at that moment in time. Just as you will give God glory when you are worshiping, lifting your hands up and music is playing. You get, you get what I'm saying? So the issue of sleepwalking in life basically means that we are living with no intention. We are doing things that they, there is no intention. By the way, you can sleepwalk through your purchases. You're buying the car because your neighbor has it. You're buying the dishwasher because your neighbor has it. You're trying to keep up with the Joneses. That is sleepwalking through life. You don't know what you really want. You're not authentic with life itself. So you sleepwalk in it. But once in a while you gain some kind of consolation when you engage in a productive activity of personal value. But that just shows how not in control you are when you are sleepwalking in life. How unintentional you are. We are living in a live match. I talked about a live match some time back in this episode, in this series, where the referee has blown the whistle and the match is on. The seconds are counting. They are ticking. It's like a basketball match. Every second counts. There's a time that the whistle is going to be blown and the match will be over and the scores will be counted. We need to be aware of this. And then we need to stop sleepwalking through our lives. Tomorrow we're going to look at one more pillar, one more crux of this legacy thing we're talking about. But until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.